As you can tell by the title, I don't think it's a good idea to build a lithium ion battery pack for my e-bike. I think that just buying one is a way better idea. Let me explain why. I've looked at the cost of buying a couple different factory built lithium ion battery packs and honestly it's almost the same price as it would be to buy the materials and build it myself, which just doesn't make it worth it to me. Honestly, I haven't enjoyed assembling my lithium ion packs. Maybe it's my cheap little spot welder, maybe it's my underpowered heat gun, either way, it hasn't been fun or therapeutic. Now, before I continue, I want to say there are a few scenarios where building your own pack makes sense. The first is to neatly fit within a certain frame with specific design specifications. The second is to save money and save the planet by using recycled cells like the ones from Battery Hookup. And the third is if there isn't a battery out there that meets your specifications at a reasonable price. Like let's say you wanted to make a 150 volt battery pack and you somehow have a controller and motor that can handle that. You obviously aren't going to find a pre-built battery pack at that voltage, and if you do, the price will be astronomical, since it's so uncommon. Or like, if you wanted a 72 volt 120 amp hour battery pack, but even then, you can probably buy two individual 72 volt 60 amp hour packs for a good price and just wire them in parallel. Now, let me present you some actual numbers. The most expensive part of a battery pack by far is the cells. If you or I want to buy lithium ion cells for one battery pack, the absolute absolute most we would ever order is like 400 21700 cells. That amount of cells would be equivalent to like a 96 volt 75 amp hour battery pack. Just absolutely huge. And 400 cells to a battery manufacturer is like nothing. You can't order 400 cells directly from Molecel, Samsung, Panasonic, LG, other lithium ion cell manufacturers. They just won't take your order. You have to buy those cells through distributors like 18650 Battery Store or IMR Batteries, who buy tens of thousands of cells at once, store them, and sell them for up to double the price of what they're paying for each cell, since obviously they need to take their own cut. And I'm not saying that distributors are evil or greedy, they are just a necessary middleman between hobbyists like myself and the manufacturers. Now, what companies that build e-bike batteries do is they order tens or even hundreds of thousands of cells straight from the manufacturer because they have a high volume of orders going out. They cut out the middleman, thus reducing the price of the cells to them and the final cost to you. Another disadvantage that the hobbyist pack builder will have is that they have to design the pack and consider precisely what they have to order, the dimensions of the battery, finding a case that fits, which that alone can take a couple hours. The battery pack assemblers have already figured all that out one time and they just pump out the same design over and over again. Another reason I don't want to build my own packs is because if I were to do another one, I would want a high quality spot welder, but to get a quelled setup or a glitter spot welder is at least $300, and I just can't justify buying such an expensive tool that will only get used once every couple months. And finally, the price of a battery pack from a company like Amorge is already so incredibly low that you aren't saving any money by building it yourself. Let's look at a Molesel P45B pack from Amorge. This 72 volt 40.5 amp hour with 315 amps continuous discharge pack made from P45B cells is $1,321 plus shipping which I think is around like $50 to $100 by C. If you want to buy just the 180 P45B cells to make this pack, the cheapest you will find them for right now is $837. I'm guessing that this Amorge pack uses this 340 amp amp BMS which you can buy for $88. It definitely uses copper bus bars for connecting the cells which you can find for this 20S 9P configuration along with the cell spacers for $179 from coolwatts.co. You also need to get some heavy gauge wires, anti-spark connectors that can handle 300 amps, and various other materials which all together cost around 100 bucks. So we are already at $1,204 for the custom battery and we didn't even give it a case. The Amorge one comes in a metal case that has a handle on it. Coolwatts.co does sell a Suron style case for $239 that would fit this battery, but it's currently out of stock. Anyway, if you got that one, that would bring the price up to $1,443, while the one from Amorge was just $1,321, and it's already assembled for you. There's no labor you have to do or tools you have to buy. What I'm trying to say is, I can't beat the price of a factory-made pack, simply because they get their cells much cheaper than I do. Even battery packs in the 48 volt range with lower discharge Samsung cells are just cheaper when you buy them assembled. And I'm comparing apples to apples here. Same cells, same BMS, same bus bars, you just can't beat that factory price. So, at the end of the day, unless you have a very specific reason to build your own, just buy a factory made battery. It's cheaper, easier, and saves you tons of time and effort. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you have your own opinion on this, let me know below in the comments. I would like to hear other people's views. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, I do have an affiliate code for battery hookup if you want to get a discount. It's in the description. Peace.